Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. We are here in the one and only Heartcliff, where we don't have access to a whole lot of animals who purchase outright. Instead, we have to rely on merchants who are selling us at whatever cost they deem worthwhile. We've got some more eels that are kind of annoyed because they aren't getting fed enough. And that's problematic. I'm not sure how we want to handle that. I think what we will probably be doing is sort of pushing as hard as we can to try and relocate this to be the main area. Get both of these over here and that way we can actually run um, like one staff member just in this room full time to handle everything. I think that'll be a good idea. That seems like a, a sound plan. somewhat veiled reference there. Props to anybody who picked up on it. Well, I can mess with it a little bit and get it to show me three out of four walls at once. Uh, I think there might even be a way to see no walls. Uh, I, want, I want my walls up though. So what are we doing? What are we doing? What's the plan? I've already forgotten. We're waiting on money, I remember that much. Like 900, I'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and do that all at once. Um, so I need another tank here and it's gonna need to be a deep tank. To house these guys. 39 in total, that's uh, three Arabian butterflies, four yellow tanks and an angelfish. All in one. To do that, it's got to be the deep tank, but thankfully it only has to really be that big. In fact, we might do it right there and have that one tile gap on either side. That seems reasonable to me. How much was that going to cost me? Not a ton. Okay, let's do that real quick. Why? Because once we get this up, we can do bam. And now I can hit play again because it's okay. Nobody will get in here. Do a nice little step, do a nice little staircase, now it's accessible. Have you be the other one. And we will go ahead and move animals over here slowly. Animals and filters both that is. Uh, actually I'll pause it and we'll just do it all at once I think is probably the smart way to do it. Like so. Bit of an itch there. So that takes care of that. This tank is now empty. Now we focus on bringing everybody over here from the other tank first. Just do this all at once, like I said. They are, of course, all going to be quite unhappy because water quality isn't great. There's not enough vegetation for them. There's not enough places to hide, blah, blah, blah. This will stop most of their complaining. And taking this filter and attaching it might actually solve all of their complaints. But just to be safe, we will go ahead and move the combined filter over as well. That does solve a lot of problems. We do need food to come over here as well. And we can go ahead and actually put on an extra staircase piece like that. Uh, and now I can drag all of the foods that were over here. Well, actually, first of all, I can just outright sell that one. But then these... I think I'll go over here. You are green. You are a... purple, and you should be green again, yeah. Okay. And for whatever reason, this tank is not even close to warm enough. Oh wait, never mind, that's a lagoon tank. The lagoon tank is not warm enough. This tank is totally fine. 130 out of 78. Alright, so I need this over here. 
I'm going to just outright sell that. And then I want the purple one over there as well. Fantastic, and that lets me sell that and that, which is great. So I would like to turn this into a gift shop. I'd like to turn this into nothing but bathrooms if I can. And the way that I do that will probably be like four and four, maybe maybe five and five. Do like ten of them all at once. Um, we'll put the food and stuff in here as well. We'll just kind of rearrange all of that. Yeah, I think that'll work. That should be a good time. Okay, so, next step then. We'll play, we'll make sure everything acclimates properly. I will go ahead and just do one of these. Just because it gives me a, a decent little, like, emergency path there behind the scenes. And um, that does help out with just keeping everything flowing where I need it to go. I think let's go ahead and focus on getting the gift shop moved over as being our next step because that lets me wear away that whole section and that also is less uh, cost intensive so we can let the animals continue to generate some funds for us. We'll move the guidebook supply into the closet for now. We will do like one, two, like so. And okay. Uh, let's see. Other things that I can purchase right away. And get some balloons. That'll be cool. Let's go ahead and do like one, two balloons. And a balloon supply box. Yeah, I think that's. I mean, that does make money back pretty darn quick. And also grab you, move you in there, along with you into here as well. And the garbage bin can come and just sit there in the corner, that's fine. Uh, and then we need some seating. I believe I have access to the padded bench, I do. So let's go ahead and just do like... One, two, and one, two. Keep everybody's needs down nice and easily. Uh, I can do this, this, this. So I leave, yeah. You sell everything at cost, so there's no reason not to like sell it all and then purchase it all back. Let's do like... We do like one, two, three. Hmm. Four, five, six. If I do it like this, I can expand that out. I can put these walls up. I can put false walls on those for aesthetic reasons, and because why not? And then I can actually get to put in a double staff door. Like that. And then we'll put in a sponge sink. One, two there. Not a lot of help. We'll probably have something else to put in there eventually. I think we need at least one more trash bin, I guess. Put one in that corner. Might as well just do them in all four corners. Just might keep everything under control a little nicer then. Why are we getting negatives? What is upset? Aquarium's untidy and animals in a tank are upset. Why are you guys upset? You are upset because you have not been fed, and you have not been fed probably because I'm out of staff. Let's go ahead and hire somebody else who can handle more feeding. Uh, actually, 
we'll just hire Harry and let him just kind of do his job. He can do whatever he feels like doing. I think, or do we want to just have him literally do nothing but run that room? That could be worth doing. That could be worth doing. Level up for Romeo. Go ahead and make sure that you are a little quicker at fixing things. We have another starfish, that's fantastic. We can get the double tip anemones, because those are cool. And I think this next habitat here will be the one that rolls around the corner. Let's go ahead and do something like this. Pause that so that I can look at things. I would like a corner tank, probably. Or maybe it'll be a deep corner tank. What do we want to do? What animals can we put into it? Can I buy anything cheap? 900 for a grouper, maybe. Uh, 560 for some sponges, probably not. Uh, I could get a shoal for $1,000, bigger shoal for 2000 I uh, get some wimps, not yet, and I could get uh, these guys with the copper band. 700 for a single wimp, that's a maybe? I think I already have at least one wimp, don't I? You're not a wimp, you're not a wimp, you're not a wimp, both all those. You and you are all, or you are a wimp, the puffer is a wimp, so I will probably eventually like buy another one of those and just put it up in a tank here on the side. In fact, why don't we go ahead and work on that? Just have that tank ready. Thank you. Yeah, so you guys, you are a wimp. You don't like being housed with others of the same. That's fine. I'm only going to have the one anyway. You need a high skill require. I need to make sure I'm leveling somebody up to feed you properly. Uh, and I'll need another wimp at some point, and none of these are. But so far, at least, none of these require space, so that should be okay. We should be fine to do a deep corner tank here. We'll just go ahead and cap out the size, I guess. If I had the funds to do that, which I don't, that's too grand and I'm just shy. But I should generate enough to do that today. Almost, and close. Okay, there we go. Uh, so now we're pretty much broke, but that's fine. We don't need money anyway. Okay, so. I have done that backwards. Pause. You. Then you are. Nope. Then you around twice. There we go. Okay. So, cool. That's all. Fine and dandy. You are now requiring more than what you can put in there. Go ahead and just grab a power filter. Nope, I'm broke. That's why. Behavior with a level up. Um, get a little better at feeding. I'm gonna dedicate you to the wimp tank when it's time. You do get some. Um, you theoretically don't provide enough, that's why. But I can hold off for a little bit here. As I generate more money from everybody walking into the aquarium. Bam. Okay. And thus the problem is solved. Got the next reactor, great. I'm gonna want the maybe a tunnel tank. Go ahead and get the tunnel tank while we're waiting. Don't know if that'll be the first thing that I put in. Yvette's gotta level up. Can't afford to level you up just yet though. 
Alright, so we're gonna do... We're gonna do that, so I've got a little bit of wiggle room. And then we are going to... Yeah, we'll do this. We can do that. Now it's accessible. We are still making a profit. We're not making a huge profit. Uh, I'm gonna put in probably just one more of those puffers in this tank. Eventually. Uh, let's go ahead and just kind of kind of make sure that it's all ready for them before we ever try and get them. At least as best we can, right? And I'm broke. The only downside to these challenge levels is you don't get the opportunities to make money quite as easily. And I'm aware that a big part of that is because I'm on the brutal difficulty and so everything costs like 50% more. But even so, it's just annoying. More than anything. Okay, so now that that room's all done the way I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and be broke again. Continuous problem I'm having here. You guys are at 12, I'm gonna bump you up to 15 because people will pay it even if they're annoyed. And you guys are 20, I'm gonna leave you at that. Back priorities real quick here. Um, Harry, fixing is more important than feeding for you. Actually, I lied. Uh, feeding is more important than fixing, not fixing more important than feeding. Uh, because Yvette can't feed and neither can Romeo. Uh, Romeo, however, I am going to drop you out of zone 1 because with only one set of tanks needing maintenance now, not as big a deal. It, uh, it would be nice, I think. I apparently can't click into these boxes. Oh. As per usual. Forgot that I'm in a menu. It would be nice if uh, you could set a specific thing to be like minimum priority all the time. Like right now, I don't care if that here ever gets fixed because it's not plugged into anything. And there's no like storage or any way for me to not have that be where they have to mess with it. And I know, the idea here is that I can just sell that and then buy it again later, but I don't want to. People are complaining because that tank is empty. That is a reasonable complaint. But I don't care yet. Uh, because I need to do a power pump. Like that. Look straight in. And I'm gonna need a large here. Like so. Yeah, like that. And I'm gonna want a double filter on the other side of it as soon as I can afford it. Assuming I ever can. Come on, come on. Here we go. Okay. So now that this tank should theoretically be mostly okay, it's gonna need another heater. That kind of sucks. Uh, but I can get that added. Thanks to this one. Like that. Now that heater is well heated. I've got this filter, which I might as well just go ahead and add now. Just for the sake of redundancies, and I can move you to just be in there on the wall. You don't do anything. I shall detach that so you really can't do anything. Alrighty, so, I believe we are pretty much at the point to wrap up another episode of this. We are making profit. It's, it's a happening. We're gonna get there. I, uh, I might, I, I won't, I want to just let this run in the background for like 
four days in game or something just to generate a bit of capital. I'm not going to, I'll keep you guys along for the whole ride. But strap yourself in because the next episode might be a bit boring. Until then though, I appreciate y'all watching, I'll see you in the next one, and adios.